Some people believe the sun's power alone may be enough to fill the planet's power needs, and it can be harnessed in many different ways. Take, for example, this house. It's 80% more energy efficient than a conventional home, yet uses no insulation, sheetrock, or paint, and can be assembled with a power screwdriver. My name is Michael Sykes, and I'm the inventor of the inertia building system. Behind me is an inertia home. Made from 100% renewable wooden blocks, inertia homes use the power of the sun and the earth to heat themselves. One thing I learned from building log houses, the customers were telling me their log homes were extremely energy efficient. Solid wood acts as a thermal battery. The solid wood wall is more energy efficient than a frame wall that has insulation in it. In the winter, air on the south-facing window wall heats up and forms a convection cycle around the inner shell, transferring heat to the solid wood structure. That heat slowly radiates out through the day. Your wood walls are like a thermal battery. The inertia building system, it uses the thermal mass actually within wood as the sort of medium for absorbing the heat and using that throughout the day to modulate the temperatures on the inside. In the summer, the house keeps cool by venting hot air through the attic and cycling in the cooler basement air. Like most solar homes, there's a lot of glass on the south side and there is a cavity in the roof where the heat can go and there is a cavity in the north wall so that the heated air can travel completely around the house, heating it in winter. Inertia homes are actually like having a house within a house. So every opening has two windows. Inertia homes cost a little more to build, but with the addition of solar panels, energy costs could be reduced by as much as 80% over a conventional home. My training is a mechanical engineer with a specialty in thermodynamics, which led me to be a little bit more curious about how the building materials are storing energy. Here at the Inertia factory, wooden logs are cut, numbered, and ready to ship out. Lumber in this house is assembled out of small pieces of lumber and they're glue lamination. They're finger jointed where the two pieces come together. Four pieces of lumber are glued together to form one unit, which is more sustainable and stronger and better than the solid lumber would be. The cut chart incorporates all the parts and pieces that are in the home via instructions on that sheet. It tells these guys what piece goes where, what length to cut it, what operations to do, and where it goes in the home. And it will be shipped out to the site. This particular house will probably take about 12 bundles total to finish out. Glue laminated material comes from sustainable forestry. They're certified and they have their own tree farms and have had for over 50 years. The system is so efficient that trash is kept to a minimum. This basket right here represents the waste of two inertia kits. Conventional stick frame houses might produce 20 times that amount of waste. If we can design things intelligently from the beginning for their disassembly, we're much more likely to be able to capture which metabolism or which waste stream they want to go into. And what we're seeing now is a movement almost back to relearning the most basic principles around buildings.